Christine is talking about skin care. Yeah, I am because my skin gets really dried out when this time of year comes around, but that's why I talked to a local dermatologist to get the inside scoop on keeping your skin nice and soft. For many, fall means dry skin thanks to the drop in humidity, but there are ways to prevent that. So the best way to trap moisture in the skin starts with even when you shower. But wait, this shower may be a little different. When you shower, it's not your spa time. You don't get to luxuriate. This is when you want to take a quick 10 minute lukewarm shower. What? That warmer the shower, the more histamine is released. So if you have itchy, irritated skin, it actually compounds the problem. It feels good immediately, but then when you get out, you have this flush of histamine. It makes your skin more irritated and itchy. So exfoliation is fantastic for people that don't have irritated, itchy skin. Exfoliation helps get rid of the dead skin and it can help moisturize the skin more because you can get more uh, moisture in there. But if you have irritated skin, it further compounds the problem. Now take everything you know about drying yourself off after that shower and throw it out the window. When you get out, you pat dry. You don't rub it really briskly because that can irritate the skin even further and dry it out more. You want to pat dry to seal that moisture in and then apply a good emollient moisturizer. So usually that's going to be something that's a really heavy based cream. Some people like ointments because it does trap the moisture in better and occlude the skin, but that's usually where it starts. And then you may wanna reapply a second time in the day. But if you're like me and hate the feel of lotion and how greasy it can be on your skin, there's another option out there. So the hydrogels add moisture by soaking into the skin, but they don't um, add grease. And so you can still moisturize with that. But like I said, what you can do is apply oil while you're in the shower and it rinses off so it's not as greasy. And then you can put one of those hydrogels on. And what about facials? Should you get them as the seasons change? Facials are great for immediate results because it can add brightness and moisture and shine to your face immediately, but they don't, the results don't last very long. So, you know, you need something for maintenance. The cheapest way to take care of your facial skin is to number one, wear sunscreen every single day because that'll improve the quality of your skin by not allowing you to get sun damage. And then wear a facial moisturizer every day after you wash your face. Good cleansers are ones that have glycolic acid or any hydroxy acids that can a little bit exfoliate the skin. And then at nighttime, I usually recommend a retinoid product. So those are the ones that sound like retinol or. Uh, there are prescriptions called tretinoin that can help exfoliate the skin. It brightens it. It increases collagen production and helps with the turnover of skin. So that's your maintenance that will keep your skin looking good over time. Well, I know what I need to get at the store. So Dr. Singh also has a sister who is also a doctor, but she's all about family medicine. So we're going to actually hear from her in just a little bit as she shares some secrets to preventing a cold and tips that may help you get over that bug faster. Alexis, that is always the goal. Oh my gosh, that's such a great thing to have. And she's such a great source in this community for Absolutely. 